So explain a little bit about what you guys are doing out here today. Today, the main objective is noxious weed control. This site is a county-owned site. Uh, they're in a cooperative agreement with the Game Commission. So we manage it like a game lands and we're doing the habitat management on the property. It's just covered with noxious, invasive species of weeds and shrubs. So the objective today is to burn off a generation and try to get some control over these. And we'll do that in combination with other methods, herbicides, some tilling and planting of na native shrubs eventually is the goal. And then how are you accomplishing um, the burn today with the controlling and everything? Today we actually have a drone for our main ignition source. Uh, we use hand ignition around the edges of the line, along the fire line, but the drone is the interior igniter that keeps people off these steep slopes and out of the thick shrubs and brush. It's hard to get through, a lot safer and a lot more efficient and, and faster. So how much area are you guys burning off today? Today this unit is 120 acres. There's three units in this parcel, uh, but we're doing the uh, northern unit of 120 acres today. About how long does it usually take to do something like this? Depending on the day and the drying, uh, we got started around 11 o'clock today. We should be done around two or three, and then we'll mop up afterwards. By mop up, I mean we'll make sure that everything's contained inside the unit, that little if any chance of anything getting out of the black. Okay. Anything else you might want to add about this? I'm just uh, glad to explain what we're doing here. This is a tool that we use for, for habitat management on our game lands. Um, there's other reasons we burn for oak management and grassland management and also noxious weed control. It's a great management tool and fire is a natural part of our landscape that has been excluded for a long time and we need to get it back on the landscape to help control and control noxious invasive species and keep our native species healthy and present on the landscape. 